Marcel, the Barrable Hills family's pastor. I am so excited to be with you today because I believe that God has something really special he wants to share with us today. Today I'm going to read you a story from the book of John in the New Testament. The book of John is what we call a gospel, which means it's one of the four books in the Bible that are about Jesus' life from when he was born and when he died and then rose again. The Gospels tell us about things that Jesus said and things that he did while he was here on earth. And this is so important because when we look at what Jesus said and what he did, we learn about the kind of God that we have. The Gospels are super important to read. This story is about one of the miracles that Jesus performed. Let me read it to you. Jesus went to a town called Nain and his disciples and a large crowd went along with him. As he approached the town gate, a dead person was being carried out, the only son of a widow, and a large crowd from the town was with her. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her and he said, don't cry. Then he went up and he touched the stretcher they were carrying him on and the men carrying it stood still. He said, young man, I say to you, get up. The dead man sat up and began to talk and Jesus gave him back to his mother. They were all filled with awe and praised God. A great prophet has appeared among us, they said. God has come to help his people. This news about Jesus spread throughout Judea and the surrounding country. What an amazing story. Jesus brought this son back to life. When Jesus healed this man, what did the people say? They said, God has come to help his people. Amazing, you know. Jesus had been around for a little while now and the word about him was getting around. But this was special. This was a special moment because in this moment, the people had a realization that God was here to help them, not just teach them, not just give them eternal life or even tell them that he loved them, but they realized he was here to help them. You know, I was thinking about this story and it reminded me of a situation that my friends Sky and Scarlett were telling me about the other day. Why don't you have a look at this situation that I'm thinking of? Oh, I'm enjoying this run today. The weather is beautiful, the birds are singing. It's so good to be out running. Yes, it is. We have six kilometres ahead of us, so it's a good thing the weather is good today. Now, Mum, you know I've been running for years and I am very experienced at running. I know all that stride technique, arm swing, foot placement, breathing, pacing myself while coming over an injury. Oh, I'm so glad I've got you as a running partner then, Scarlett. With you by my side, I'll be fine. I'm here to help you. All you need to do is ask for your help and I'll help you. Gosh, I'm starting to feel a bit tired. I've got a bit of a niggle in my calf and it's sore. Oh. I'm also pretty puffed. I think I'm gonna make it all the way. Oh, oh boy. I'm not even sure why I'm doing this anymore. Where are we going again? How long for? Oh my God, I'm so puffed. I can't see the end in sight. I can't do it anymore. Oh, I need help. Would you like me to help you? I told you, all you needed to do is ask me. And if you told me I'd, I need, you needed help, I would help you. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please, God, can you help okay, me? Okay, so now, let's slow down your breathing. In, okay. out, in, out. That's it. Now stand up straight, and you need to keep that cool strong. Keep that breathing even. That's it, Mum, you can do it. You can do okay. it. And I want you to remember that there's a double truck ice cream waiting for you at the finish line. You've got to keep your eyes on the prize, Mum. Come on, you can do it. One step in front of the other. Yep. <sighs> boy, oh boy, what a workout. Well done, Scarlet and Sky. I'm impressed. You know, Sky and Scarlet were running together right from the start. Scarlet expressed what a pro she was at running. 
She told Skye that she was here to help her at any point. But it took Skye a long time to ask for help, didn't it? It took a long time until Skye realised that Scarlett was right there to help her with her struggles. I don't know about you, but it can be a lot like that for me in my life. I can be struggling along and forget that God is right there beside me, ready to help. Like in this story, people heard about Jesus. They'd heard some of his teaching, but on this day, they realized that he was there to do more than teach them. He was there to help them. In John chapter 14, verse 26, Jesus said he will send us the Holy Spirit to be our helper. God is here to be our helper. How great is that? Jesus is running right alongside us to help us. In Hebrews 12, it says, And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Another way that Scarlett helped Skye to keep running was to remind her of the amazing double choc chip ice cream that was waiting for her at the end. This verse reminds us of exactly that, that we need to keep our eyes fixed on the prize, Jesus and eternity with him. If we want to persevere and make it to the end, we need to keep our eyes on the prize, Jesus. So what's our takeaway today? How's this this week going to be different to last week? What is it that God wants us to do to exercise our faith this week from this story? I think he wants us to ask for help. You know, exercising our faith, we can sometimes think is all about us doing better us working harder. We can think that exercising is about us doing more and trying more, but that's just not the truth. One of the most important ways that we can exercise our faith is to ask God for his help. That's what he's here for. Psalm 46 says that God is our ever-present help in times of need. All we need to do is ask. So what do you need help with this week? What do you need help with this week? Why not ask God to help? Well, that's it from me this week, kids. It's been super great talking to you. Next week is our final end of term Zoom celebration party again. I can't wait to see your faces online so we can catch up and keep exercising our faith. So I'll see you next week. And don't forget to ask God for help. See ya.